Yeah, that's correct. I'm here to make a deputation on my favorite topic, the TCAC Special Constables. Uh, being <laughs> uh, speaking on this uh, issue since the month of June, um, I recall uh, last September 25th, uh, the first budget committee, um, Chair Morgan, you make uh, some comments at the end that uh, dismissed my concerns about the TCAC special constables and, and you suggested that I take my complaint over to the TCAC board, which I did in the month of October. I went to the board and mentioned to them that um, it is a waste of taxpayers' money when it comes to uh, uh, leaning and trusting the CSU officers will deal with uh, noise by law complaints effectively. They are not trained to deal with noise by law complaints. <clears throat> I mentioned this to the board. Everybody hear it, and still they pass um, their motion, whatever it was, and didn't take into in, under consideration my my concerns because basically I'm trying to give them a, a hand. I'm not trying to destroy them. I'm trying to help them out. Uh, with legal liabilities, and um, you know, and it's um, sad that they reply back uh, to me saying that, as always, Miguel, for emergencies, including threats to life, always call 911. Non-emergency matters like noise complaints and antisocial behavior, you can report to the community safety unit at 416-921-2323. So that was the answer to my request to take my complaint over to the board. And as you, as you can see, nothing has been done. Unfortunately, this is going to end it up in a court, um, into a human rights tribunal to make amendments, to seek for what we want is um, public interest, remedies. Because relying on the TCAC special constables, it has been proven to be a waste of time. Um, Half of my building were uh, interrupting of their sleep. Our mental health was not addressed. So I'm here to say that, um, again, I repeat in my words, that uh, I, I, I don't consent to the um, reappointment of these TCAC, TCAC officers uh, on the list because they lack the opportunity to deal with, um, they, they don't have the training, let's put it this way, to deal with noise by a lot of complaints. Only municipal uh, law enforcement officers can come and address those concerns because they had the technology, they had the training, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So that is my, <clears throat> my two cents with regards to today's uh, comments. I also, I heard uh, repeat motions uh, or comments regarding to what's going on in the city of Toronto with escalation of violence, et cetera, et cetera. So I'm, I'm glad that um, Deputy Morley is on the call and uh, Councillor Lily Cheng is on the, uh, also on the Zoom call. I'm asking you both, um, I think uh, Councillor Burnside step outside. The city of Brampton and the city of Mississauga has endorsed up, um, to end this, uh, the violence in, in Gaza. I'm here with this sign that says Toronto City Council endorses permanent ceasefire in Palestine. And I'm exercising my rights and freedoms, and, I don't, I know, I, and I'm telling you guys that this is the, the, the you should follow suit uh, as City Council. Uh, Deputy Molly, I'm looking at you to make those, uh, um, a motion that we have, that we can have peace in our communities. So, uh, as, as the delegation of the Jewish community said, it's been six weeks. The same is for the uh, region park. Uh, we have also Muslims in, in my community. They want peace. They don't want to live in fear. So in order to do that, you have to make a motion, please demand a ceasefire permanently in that region of the world because it's affecting home. And, 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 and really, it's, it's um, unnecessary and uh, we, if, if you have the courage to put this motion in council, I will really appreciate it because the city of Brampton, the city of Mississauga, both cities has passed a motions requesting that the hostages be returned and the ceasefire be done, be, be completely done so that we don't have to have this protest on the streets. 
because I'm a protester as well. I support you know, human rights. Thank you so much. Thank you very much, Miguel. Any questions? Oh, thanks for the water. I'm going to take <laughs> yes. one home. You're, you're. <laughs> Uh, may I have a motion to receive? <laughs> I, I have a question of, of staff um, based on the deputation. Yes, go ahead. I'm just wondering, ha have there ever been any studies done on the effectiveness of special constables in TCHC? Is that something we have to ask TCHC or is, that, is there some purview or oversight provided by TPS of the special constables? Councillor, maybe I can assist you. Um, we do evaluate their program, and part of the um, appointments and reevaluation, uh, there is a, uh, um, a check and balance that, that's put in place to make sure that they're in adherence of, of the regulations and our, our oversight. So, so it sounds to me that there are some communities that do not feel their presence is, is effective. Have there ever been surveys of people living in Toronto community housing to reflect uh, whether or not the presence of the special constables adds to their sense of safety or has helped to um, mitigate dangerous situations? Not that I'm aware of. I'm, um, you know, maybe the TCHC board themselves could uh, could address this. Maybe the councillors um, present here might have some insight, but I, I, I'm not aware of any. So if if we were to request one, would that mean that we would have to request one through TCHC? I think that would probably be the most appropriate. Okay, thank you. Deputy Mayor Morley. Thank you, um, Madam Chair. Through you, I just wanted to also pick up on a point from the deputant around um, the noise uh, bylaw sort of oversight and support. I don't know if anybody around the table here today can speak a little bit to that. I was surprised to hear that that was uh, a responsibility of the TCHC officers, as of course we do have uh, our municipal licensing and standards group and uh, noise bylaw offices in each of the, the districts of the city. Um, so I just want, wanted to get a little bit more um, insights on that, if, if any anyone's able to share. So this is a little bit of a complicated issue. You'll know from the AG's report with respect to the Toronto Police involvement in noise bylaw that we can't uh, address those because of uh, calls for service and, and the priority of what those things are. Um, and, and the request or sort of the recommendation from the Auditor General was that the city beef up their um, MLS uh, Metro licensing standards to be able to address those issues. There's equipment issues, there's personnel issues, there's times of coverage issues as well. The Toronto Police uh, Service can enforce city bylaws, and I believe the TCHC um, enforcement officers also have the um, authority to uh, enforce that. Thank you. So the authority is there through our appointment, but is the training also included? I'm told it, it is. Thank you for that clarification. I appreciate it. Thank you. Can I have a motion uh, uh, for Chief Demke's uh, report as it relates to special constable appointments? Um, um, Vice Chair Kostak is seconded. Thank you, Deputy Mayor Morley. All right. All in favor? No one's opposed. Move on, moving on to item number seven, 